Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another edition of Rock's Garage. I'm your host, Dan, and on today's episode, we're gonna be installing part number RAD-556 on an EasyGo RXV. Now, before we get started, let's take a look at what comes with the kit and the tools that we're gonna to need before the installation. So when you open up your kit, you're gonna find your pre-assembled RAD-556 unit and also a set of instructions, and there are gonna be some zip ties and crimp terminals in this bag as well. Now, this installation process is super simple. All you need to do is take the positive and the negative lead and hook it up to your battery on your cart, and then you pair by pressing this button, and we'll go over that process a little bit later. But other than that, all it does is attach to the top, and then you're good to go. Now that we've taken a look at all the parts, let's take a look at the tools that we're gonna need to perform the installation. So the only tools we're gonna need for this installation are a cordless drill with a Phillips head attachment and a set of wire strippers and crimps. Now that we've taken a look at all the tools, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to do today is not 100% necessary, but it will make the installation of this part a whole lot easier. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the top off of our cart. So now with our top on the ground, we're going to go ahead and attach the RAD556. Now on the RXV top, there is a channel, and that is where the amplifier is going to sit when you put the speaker system on the top. Now you want to make sure that the harness that is attached to the speaker system it comes out the side so that we can then run it down our top strut. And once you've got it centered in between the two channels for the top struts, you can go ahead and attach it with the supplied screws. So now we're ready to put the top back on the car. So now that we have our top back in place, we have a couple different options for how we want to connect our wiring harness to the 12 volt power. One of those options is you could drill a hole right here on your top strut and feed the wires all the way down. The other one is you can feed it through the front of the top strut and again feed it all the way down. Or lastly, you don't even have to feed it through the top strut at all. You can just go ahead and zip tie it or electrical tape it along the inside of the top strut. It's really up to you. It's whatever you want to do. We're going to feed it through the front of the top strut. We're going to go ahead and do that now. Something to keep note when you're doing this, you want to make sure that you have not put any bolts through the top to connect it to the top strut just yet because that will make your life a whole lot easier when you're installing these cables. And then once you've fed those two wires all the way down through your top strut, you can go ahead and put your six bolts back in your top. So now our next step is to get our cables into the battery compartment so we can hook them up to our 12 volt source. So for me, I'm just gonna take these two wires and run them right down the seat back bracket into the battery compartment. So now that I have my cables in the battery compartment, I'm going to go ahead and cut the ends off and terminate them so that we can connect them to the battery. And then once those connections are made, we can go ahead and connect it to the battery. And obviously before you make any electrical connections, you want to make sure that you turn your cart off and turn it into the tow mode. And now that my battery connection I'm just going to go ahead and clean up the wiring inside the battery compartment with the supplied zip ties. Once I'm done that, then I'll show you how to connect to the unit. Now in order to pair your phone with the speaker system, it really is set up just like any other Bluetooth device. So in order to get the unit into pairing mode, you're going to press and hold the button on the unit until the blue light blinks rapidly. Then it's in pairing mode. What you're going to see on your phone is JAHD240BT, and then that's the unit you're going to connect to. Once it's connected, the light on the unit will turn a solid blue, and you're ready to go. Once you've connected your phone, that'll complete the installation for part number RAD-556 on our EasyGo RXV. We're going to go take this thing out for a cruise. Thanks for watching this episode of Rock's Garage, and I'll see you next time.